Hello viewers, today we are going to make amazing warrior fantasy look in Photoshop. So let's begin our tutorial. First we are going to take a new document or new page by clicking on file then go to new and take any of this size. You can take also 19201080 and make resolution 300. You can also customize your size anytime just click on create or press enter key so, so the document is ready now we are going to place some images in our new document so this is our first image we are going to take this one or select this one by using rectangle marquee tool and select this one and simply drag and drop this one in your new document and adjust the size of your document so this one is placed and now we are going to place our model first so where it is so this is our model and we are going to select this one by using pen tool first so just select pen tool and zoom your image by pressing ctrl plus and start your selection when you complete your selection simply zoom out your image by pressing ctrl minus and then right click and go to make selection and then make further radiation 0 pixel then press ok so this one is selected now we are going to place this one in our new document or our untitled document so this is our document just simply drag and drop this one in your new document so the image is simply placed zoom out your image and adjust the size of your image Make this one not do not take so much things I think this one is perfect uh, a little bit more so I think this one is look perfect and now we are going to select this area so simply we take laser tool and simply select this one So this one is selected and just simply press delete key. Go to selection and deselect this area. So this one is almost done and increase the size little bit lower and this one is look amazing now we are going to add some hair so just go to your hair stock image so these are the hairs and select any one of them suppose think I select this one or just deselect this one and select this this one And drag and drop this one in your new document and adjust the size and duplicate again Just go to transform and select flip horizontal and add this area also. And again, this time we are decrease the size of here and 
make this one in lower image and again duplicate this one so this one is look perfect then again duplicate this one add in that portion also so the hair image are placed perfectly and now we use mask tool to remove the outer areas such like this type of areas make opacity 100% and remove this areas do the same thing with this one also or uh, we leave this one then again make duplicate this one one more time and adjust the size of here and this time we are going to place this one in that area so just click for example and adjust this one like this make again duplicate and size little bit lower and place this one in that area and now place this one behind all this hair so this one is perfectly placed the hair look amazing and it's almost providing a fantasy look so now we are going to add some extra images such like this one so just first we are going to erase this name or word and simply drag and drop this one in our new document and make this one in upper area and adjust the size of your image and place this one in this portion so this one is look amazingly fantasy or uh, we are going to change the color of this one so just simply go to hue saturation first we are going to click on adjustment layer then select hue saturation and then click on clipping mask and decrease little bit saturation and increase the color of this one so this one is good and now we are going to add more image or more sky image so we are going to take this one or we are i think the first one is better so this one is better so simply select this one and place this one in your new document just place behind this image now we going to take a mask layer brush adjust the size of brush by using bracket key and remove this areas so this one is looking good So now we are going to add a shade. So shade, shade. I think actually I don't get any shade image. So I am using this umbrella for a shade. So how can you do this? Just go to eraser tool and erase this area. And also erase this area.
and simply drag and drop this one in your new page or new document and place this one in that portion adjust the size and place it like this so you can see that your shirt is almost look original so first we are going to use little bit mask layer on her hand so adjust the size of brush and simply rub this make visible white zoom your image and adjust this area So this one is done and we are going to add some extra effects such like we are going to provide such these types of image to look original shade or we are going to provide original shade look so this one this one is image and simply drag and drop this one and place this one in that area and we are going to add little bit in that portion so first we are going to take a texture so just take a text i think this one is perfect texture for my work just simply drag and drop this one and now adjust the size of your texture image just decrease the size and then again increase the size of your texture and where is the shade image so this one is the shade image and just right click and click on clipping mask adjust the size and opacity make little bit lower and we are going to apply mask on this area so take mask layer go to brush and adjust the size of your brush and apply this So this one is done and now place this one in that area so we can see that the effect is completely look awesome and little bit we miss in this area so rub this and so shade work is also done and it's look almost good but not so perfect just zoom your image again and now again add some arrow so it's like this type of arrow just simply select first one and drag and drop this one and now just go to edit and make this time select transform and flip horizontal and place this one first one place behind the model and again duplicate this one or we are duplicating this one little bit later so first we are going to take a fire so take a fire stock just simply drag and drop this one and adjust the fire image and 
make little bit curves because it's look like the fire is floating below just go to brand mode and select screening and then use mask clear just apply a little bit and make opacity 11 percent go higher to So this one is completed and now duplicate this one the arrow image first we are going to mask this both layer sorry the merge work the merge is not working so good so just we don't mark this one just undo the work by pressing ctrl z and we are going to simply duplicate this one And again duplicate this one and again duplicate this one this time we are pressing this one in upside Release clipping mask. Oh, sorry. Right click and release clipping mask. This one is look amazing. So this one is almost done. Now add little bit fire on sword and shade also. So take this one, go to blend mode and select the screening and place this one in that area. Go to edit transform transform and select flip horizontal or flip horizontal is not so perfect just do or make as like the background colors and go to mask layer and remove these lines adjust the size of your brush and increase the opacity and remove these lines and again make duplicate and add little bit fire on sword Click on mask and remove this area. So 
so this one is almost done the raw work is almost done and we are going to add some more smoke such like we are going to take this sky again and duplicate this one and place this one in the upper side of your image such like in that portion and adjust it like this click on mask layer and apply uh, first adjust the size of your brush and then apply go to hair image and duplicate this one and now increase the size of this hair so we can get the amazing look and also add little bit stone image to provide a real war look so this one is perfectly placed in this area take more images such like this one this one is also a useful image just simply drag and drop this one and again duplicate this one And now we are going to add extra image such like we are going to disperse this image or disperse this model image. So first we are going to mask the complete layer. So just merge it the complete layer. First this one is the shade image, the shade this one is perfect. So select your model and select all hair image. And mask this one so this one is masked we can see that first to duplicate this one and this one is duplicated and hide this one first and we are going to apply mask on this image first so take a mask layer make opacity 100% just click on mask and remove this So all images are removed and now we are going to visible this one so first we are going to apply mask on this area so go to brush and select the dispersion brush such like we are going with this one so this one is perfect brush for me so I'm going with this one adjust we no need to adjust any different things just simply apply this and now you are going to adjust this brush Let's provide amazing dispersion look and now we are going to remove these lines take another brush you can choose any of this brush 
or you can also choose the shutter glass but this one is not so good so where is this brush let's try this one so this one i take this one and adjust the size of your brush by using bracket key and simply apply this visible and we are going to visible a little bit in that portion and this one and this one and again take this brush and remove these lines first and make visible take a little bit time because this one is the very important work or this one is the very important part of your work wall with dispersion effect so this one is done and we are going to add more dispersion effect so just click on your upper image this one is the upper image first we delete this layer marks and we are first going to filter or liquefy then sorry select this one and then we are going to stretch this image one is done then press ok and now we are going to add mask layer select bracket key uh, so where is the color paint bucket foreground color drop this so you can see that the layer mask color is completely black now we are going to make foreground color white go to brush and this is our brush and adjust the size of your brush like this round up and apply this so this one is looking good and we are going to apply a little bit shade we are going to apply dispersion on also on shade so just mask this both layer and adjust the size of your brush or roundness of your brush and apply this it's no need to, sorry just take mask layer make foreground color black and apply this so we can get the amazing look such like the warrior going to disperse in war This one is completed and now we are going to add little bit more stones so where is the stones image so these are the stones simply drag and drop this one this one is the perfect paste and make this one behind the sky or shade image again duplicate this one and place this one in that portion so you get the amazing result and you also get the smoky effect now we are going to add some spark so this is our spark image and we are going to add this one and just go to blend mode and select screen adjust the size and 
make this one in perfect place so the complete work is almost done and we are going to finalize our color or finalizing the retouch so select adjustment layer go to color balance and select the final color you can choose any one of them i'm going with this time yellow or you can also choose blue this one little bit and increase little bit this one let's scan so this one is look amazing and add a shadow such like this image add little bit shadow so just go to effects and take drop shadow 100% spread and distance make very closer opacity make little bit lower and then your work is done so this one is almost completed and take we are going to merge the complete layer in one layer so just press or hold shift ctrl alt plus e the work is done in one layer and then duplicate this one first and go to filter and select camera raw and adjust the color of your work first we are going to increase the saturation second we are going to increase the sharpness little bit not so much go to fx and decrease the priority highlight priority and now we are going to split tone and this time now adjust the highlighted area so highlighted area is so low so we are going a highlighted area like yellow and increase the saturation of yellow colors and darker area like this areas we are going with blue so increase the color of blue or you can choose another color i think this one look good increase little bit more so this one is done now then press okay and duplicate this one first time then go to filter and again select nick collection and select color fx pro So we are going with this time make a little bit shadow 40% and first we are going with this one this one is not so look good this one is look good then decrease little bit highlighted So this one is completed then press okay so this one is look amazing and now we are going to take a new layer then go to gradient and select any one of them such like this one then press okay So we can see that and then go to fill adjustment and adjust the fill or simply go to blend mode and select this one in soft layer the work is almost done and take again a blank layer brush and this time we are going with soft brush 
we'll just hide this one and this one is our soft brush and make foreground color gray so this one is perfect just zoom out your image and apply sorry this one is too high so just decrease the opacity like six percent and simply apply this add a little bit more black like this area So your work is completely done and you can get the amazing fantasy look such like warrior dispersion look. So if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel see you soon with new tutorial goodbye.